Okay, so... Let's do a quick little recap. Okay, so we're turn... What turn are we on? We are in turn 111. Again, this is a new DLC. Uh, Rise of the uh, Soul Trapped. Basically, eh, Cyborg is probably the closest... Uh, uh, closest uh, description that fits. Um, so we're using a custom wizard. Gimpy is a... Uh, well, Gimpy. We're using the Merlin portrait for Gimpy. Uh, we got one hero so far, the Bashan Dervis. We had him since the very start of the game. It's uh, one of the heroes you can start, actually start the game with. We pick him because um, he adds income. For every level he has, you get 10 gold per turn. So as he levels up, you get more and more money. Um, we have three spellbooks, seven from Chaos and five from Sorcery. Why? Because we haven't done either one of those spellbooks in a little while, or that either one of those um, schools of magic in a while. And specifically three and five, because we need at least three in each from each in order to be a tech master. Tech master is one of the new traits from the from the DLC. Uh, we start off with a um, what's it called? A Drona Scout unit, and they also you have a spell for summoning more. They require uh, one mana per turn for upkeep. Um, they're great scout units. They are not good military units. They're not meant to be. Uh, they are strictly spout scouts. You can use them in combat, but expect them to lose, um, just because that's not their job. Also, <laughs> you get a spell called the Power Seeker, which will show you all the the, no the mana nodes on a map, and you can click. After you see all the nodes, you can go and you click and see what is actually in each node. So you can, you know, plan your battle a little bit more uh, easily because you don't actually have to walk up to the node to see what's in there. Um, so that's, that works that way. And you also get um, a bonus of plus 5% to your research. And then need a hero. This is another new trait. Um, basically, you start the game with uh, both summoning spells for heroes, the hero and the champion summon spells, actually. And then... It also get the one extra choice when heroes are summoned and or recruited. So instead of, you know, cast a summon spell, normally you just get whatever they give you. In this case, with this particular feat, you get a, or trait, you get another choice. Um, whether it's a good choice or not, who knows. But, you know, I haven't had a chance to use it yet. Because it costs, it's pretty, summoning heroes is expensive. And uh, we haven't had anybody walk up to our door looking for a job yet, so... Um, it'd be nice to see how it actually works. I don't know if we'll get to it today, though, at this rate. And then Artisifer, this is a traditional, you know, uh, trait. Basically, uh, when we make magic items, they are half cost for mana reasons. As far as how the game's going, we've met all four of the wizards. We got Korax, who was introduced in the last DLC, or came out earlier this year. And uh, then we have Raven, Freya, and Callie. And Mrs. Kimpy needs to talk to me again. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, we are not winning. We are the blue line. We're we're going very, very slowly. Um, I am not following my ABCs of Master of Magic very well. If you're not feel, familiar with the ABCs, it's always be colonizing. And I have not been doing that. So, Korax is over on Mirror. Probably no trouble whatsoever there. Um, where's the purple line? Freya? So she lost some she lost some fight somewhere against somebody. I wonder who it was. Uh, let's see. Magic power. Again, we're not doing well. For some reason we had to jump here. I'm not sure why. That research. We have we started up uh higher up because we started with the two uh, summoning hero spells. So that's why we're so as high as we are. Number of towns. We're progressing. We're just behind the curve. Really behind the curve. Again, Korax is going to kick the crap out of everyone. Being on Mirror all by himself. Uh, fame. Eh. I'm to figure out if, two, if anybody's at war with any, each other. Can't really tell. Freya might be at war with Korax. Maybe. We can see a drop here and an incoherent climb there. That's usually an indication they might be fighting each other, but you don't know for sure. Something else could have happened too. 
build income. Wow. So they're playing around their income for right or reason. Food income. Put that too. And then mana. Wow. See, I'm way behind the curve. But this might be because I didn't actually, I haven't really played with my magic at all. That's, they might be playing with theirs. Playing with their settings here to increase their mana growth, which I, like you can see, mine's all balanced. Hmm. I don't have 13 power too. I need way more power. I don't have enough temples and whatever. Anyway, so that's uh, where we are currently. Um, Oh, this is our newest uh, colony, Hard Hammer, built out in the swamps. Specifically built it close to some mithril, because for every mineral uh, thing we have within range of the city, we get a five plus five bonus to our population, which is a thing for us because uh, Soul Trapped actually have a penalty of minus 30 people per turn already. So this just gets up to minus 25. <laughs> so... Uh, anyway, so this is going to sit on housing for a while because it only has uh, one uh, farmer to keep things pe keep people fed. Unrest is still 10%. I think the unrest is bugged. Because all our towns are at 10%. Doesn't matter what the garrison is. We add somebody to the garrison and it still remains at 10%. It's supposed to drop by 5. And not just, and I'm not just saying the the soul trap to either that the works are working the same way. It's always been at 10%. <laughs> it's always been at 10%. Even after recruiting these guys, it never changed. And we built a shrine too. Yeah, so, yeah. so we have a shrine that should have reduced it by 10%. And it didn't. I think that might be bugged. Oh well. 10% isn't a big deal. It's not really hurting us. It's just that it should be zero. Oh, look. We're not going in there. Not today. A bear. Hmm. It's saying we could try to cast confusion on that thing and win, but... Barracks. So marketplace in thirteen. No plus one food. Seniors can stay in housing. Miners get eleven. Farmer in five. Forester guild in fourteen. Shrine in eleven. There's our little engineers, the walking water heaters, and magic bullet. So this is a new spell, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a new spell because it specifically mentions um, constructs. Oh, let's see, warp wood disrupt, summoning wall of fire, nagas, and psionic blast. Uh, let's do warp wood, get it out of the way, and then the magic bullet. The magic bullet. Pretty sure this is a new spell. So it adds two ammunition to a non-fantastic unit with normal range attack and makes the attack ignore weapon immunity. The bonus can increase the natural max ammunition of the unit. The bonus increases plus two is increases to plus three four constructs. So basically you have a bowman, they only have like six armor or six ammo. Put this on them, they have eight. There's a construct, they'll have eleven. But we don't have any bow units as uh Soul trapped, so it's only one upkeep too. I wonder if you can go to Bashan. A non fantastic unit with a normal range attack. He doesn't need the ammo so far though. And the multi digger. This is a new spell. This is a new spell. Specific to the uh, soul trapped. It's basically it's a it's an engine a summoned engineer. That has an upkeep of two mana. 
And it can be used like a spirit. It can meld with a mana node. So, <laughs> but it walks on the ground. So it's not as good as a spirit as far as exploring that kind of thing, but it can still be used as an engineer. I guess if you were short on food and, and uh, gold, you could summon these. If you have an abundance of mana, summon these guys. You know, training. I think this is a new spell too. Through, yes, through the ingenuity of tech mages, heroes gain a greater understanding of the equipment, blah, blah, blah. So the upkeep cost of two. So that we haven't cast that yet because you're only producing four mana as it is. Can't be spending stuff you really don't have. Okay, so this is our engineer group, two uh, soul-trapped engineers and an orc engineer. We should probably build a road out to here. Actually, no, we don't want that, do we? We can build a road sort of going that direction. More than likely, we're going to raise this town if we ever take it. We don't have the force really to do that the moment, but there's a tower. This is a tower between the planes. There, a wizardry tower. Here's just coming back. The Hyman Spirit, but these are neutrals. Fallen Temple. Peg or sorry, Pegasus. Unicorn, Guardian Spirit, and an Angel. Again, the scout. Really good for scouting. It moves fairly quickly. Got a good scout range. Horax, be interested in obtaining mana. Would you like to trade? Let's see what we can do. So we don't share any spell books. Don't care about your ring. Don't care about that either. Like how he says he wants mana. He's got 1,300. He's interested in the mana. Is that new? The arrows? I don't remember seeing those before. I don't have the mana to spare. It's crazy that he needs it. Got so much of it already. Two sprites. Not gonna happen. So the men, they're more than likely gonna catch him if they want to catch get him. They're neutral units, more than likely they're going to. He might be dead. Well, maybe not. Okay, there's our, our walking water heaters, the engineers. Now they do engineering and they also heal um, the soul trapped units, the Constructs. Doesn't have to be just them, but any constructs they will heal to. If they're coming after me, go after that bear. The bear killed him. Did the bear? The bear actually killed them all. Oh, cause magic. <laughs> Forgot you have magic. I'd like to put a town in this area. Take advantage of this. Uh, these minerals. We have to get rid of that one to do that. Oh, these points. Look at all the minerals on the ground. Okay, towns, how are we doing? Okay, trial town, so shrine in eight. Marketplace in ten. Housing here, still a while to go. Better off, so the builder's hall adds what, 10%, right? 15% to housing. Not a big increase, but better than none. Let's go back to housing after that. 144 gold left. 
Fighter's Guild 7. Farmer in 2, don't need to buy that. Forester in 11. Actually, let's queue this thing up. Um. Library. Oh, this right. These guys can do an animal skill. That's food. We're gonna need that, and then we're gonna need the temple, and then we can do the animal skill after that. All oh, that's done. Horse is guild in eleven here. Trying in eight. We'll get us more mana. Unrest will not effect. Actually, we'll do this as a test just to verify that. I'm pretty sure the unrest number is bugged. Because when we when this is built, it should reduce that by ten. Ten percent. That should drop. Reduce unrest level by one. By an is it unrest sorry. Reduce the unrest level by one additional rebel. So they change the rules? Is that what that is? I'm confused. Anyway. So that's actually not going to work. I'll get rid of a rebel, but it won't load with the unrest. So they changed that. Warp woods, uh, yeah. So disrupt, spell magic, it's corruption, summoning circle, wall of fire, nagas, sign of glass. Oh, flame blade. Use the strength of melee missile and thrown attack by two. Allows units to hit creatures with weapon immunity. Stacks with eldritch weapon. Um, disrupt, get that out of the way. I'm going to go pick on them, I think. Hmm. Actually, I'm, I don't think we are going to. Three spiders and the two. These guys blasting at range and these guys webbing everybody. That's probably not going to go fight. Go in my favor. Not with the five units, at least. So, I'm going to wait on that fight. Let's see, three skeletons, three ghouls, and a zombie. That'll be tough with no magic on our side. Although we can summon the spy, the the flying sprite, the, the rocket sprite. That won't be enough, though. We need more. Not those guys. Not those guys. These guys. Oh, this is actually the bugged fight, I think. We did this fight earlier, and every, we tested it twice. Both times we won, no losses on our side. Until the end, when we said victory and all our our entire army was killed. On the on the final screen. No no explanation whatsoever, so I'm pretty sure that particular fight is bugged. For whatever reason. This is a Clackon colony over there. Housing, so 42, so we'll let them sit there for a while. And then this, so it did not reduce the unrest, but it doesn't, it says that it doesn't anyway, right? It says it only reduces the rebels. And this one does it too. So. It only removes rebels, it does not actually reduce the the unrest. And recruiting units does not re reduce the unrest either, even though it says it right there. The very last and garrison units are supposed to modify it, but they don't. So again, they change the rules for some reason. Okay, so Smithy. Uh, four. How much money do we have? A hundred. <laughs> so... OMG, I love steak. Welcome back. Happy Tuesday. Marketplace in nine. Housing. Just 
that. Rocketville, Miner's Guild in six, Farmer's Market in one, Forester's in ten. I'm doing well, trying not to sweat to death. It's very warm today. I think this is the hottest day of the week for us. We might have hit 100 today, Fahrenheit. Oh, we could easily take these if it wasn't. Ah. Might be able to beat them up too, but not with this scout. South Pole again, almost. Here we're down to 25 turns to summon a hero. Don't need a wandering island, which is a good thing. Be interested in obtaining mana. Would you like to trade? Sure. So we sell, share some uh, common spells. She's sorcery. But she just wants mana. Down to 490. She has more than I do. Give away. Um, what are you doing in my territory? <laughs> just walk up to the city like you belong there. Speaking of these guys, black guns, black guns. Krongar, that's done, so library in three. We have a little bit of abundance of food. We should probably use that for cooting, though. Like go over to Calvary. The halber is a little bit more. It's one point more of armor. Six units. Total health of only six. Your four units has total health of twelve. They're faster. First strike. All birds in the gate for a strike, though. Hmm. Or do you want to do more settlers? Do you know, cavalry and then settlers. Settlers. Hate that word. Neither way sounds right to me. All the ways I say it do not sound right to me. <laughs> uh. Forster's Guild, Smithy 3. No rush there. Marketplace, though. How much money? Ah, oh, they're losing money. But if we get a marketplace, then we get the forest place. So let's build that. Never? Yeah, we'll do library. He just killed him, didn't he? Thank you. I don't have to worry about him now. This way.
We have to go take a look at the Clackons, see what their city looks like. Their defenses. Not a ruin, it's a dungeon. And Shade Town, so Librarian 7, how much we got? 135 gold. It's so slow. Granary, shouldn't we? 160. Yeah, we're a number of turns before this turns into another population, so. Because they have to be every thousand. So, save the money up by that to be able to get it next turn if we don't spend any money right now, so we won't. Res resist element axe. I don't think so. Now, who is this? Uh, Serena the healer. So not the best hero, but... Gets the job done, I guess. Needs to get up my road, though. Bring you little death ball. <laughs> Spearman. Probably the toughest spearmen in the game right now. Is it their armor? The, the soul forge get an or soul tapped get it trapped. So soul trapped get a nice uh, armor bonus. Let's see, so yeah, library. Where is that? Oh, I'm gonna buy the granary. And then go to housing after that. So again, so the grainer is going to boost the growth by 30. So I get us up to 65. So it'll grow that much faster. Slowly still. No. I think you, uh, enchant an item. Mm, a miscellany. Oh, we can do flight. Let's just do a regular flight for 125 mana. I don't can do anything. Um, So many to choose from. Now just do only five turns, so that's actually not too bad. Mr. Swordbot leveled up. Those guys are pretty tough too. Because of the extra armor, it makes a difference. Uh, it's 1300. That's right, you're just doing housing for a while. Get them up. So, plus 85 a turn. Still slow. Library 8. Tables in 4. Power. So many fire elementals in these places. Okay, oh look, it's a bear. 
so tempted to go after the bear, but we need the mana to make that that uh, cloak. I don't want to screw with that, so. Over there. I'm going to explore, explore the ray. It's a clack on town. next turn, which is not a problem, I don't think. Guys, let's go up this way and build a road going that way. We can start it from here. That'd nah, be easier to start from there. Mickey, sir. And disrupt. The spell magic in 11. Corruption. Cause one chaos and entropy to infect the land. Corrupts all moves so that it will not yield no, will yield no food or minerals. Wall of fire. Encircle the city. Protect wall of flames. Each figure of any non-flying unit that attempts to pass through it or use melee attacks across it suffers a five strength magical fire attack. Range attacks are not affected. So, sure. Hey. He's just laying there barking at my desk. <laughs> Not looking at me, he's just looking at the desk and barking at it. Like it hasn't been there for the last, oh, 16 years of his life. Look, it's another cave. Ugh. Okay, so that army is over here. I'll take the elites, just leave one there to guard. Two hundred forty-six mana or gold, so mining miners guild in one turn. Stables at three, foresters in five, seven. More populations. Builders. Like that. So, library five. Library two. Just need more people. Tables in three. No rush there. Forced to guild in five. So, this will speed things up. Forces Guild can give us more food. Right? Yeah, food harvest by two, production by 25%. Uh, farmer's market next for more food. Right there. Eight. Stables doesn't really. Speeding up here is not going to help us too much. Eh, it's only 96. We'll do that. Okay. So. Okay, engineers. You're done building a road here. You're supposed to be going this way. So do you want to build a road going this way through here? And it looks like it would be faster to go this way. So. Okay, okay next turn. March, March. The walking water heaters. I wish I could rename them. A lot of hellhounds. Just a few.
Boomtown Farmers Market full in for. Uh, so their production's going up quite a bit. One, two. And grab Fiber for research. Temple get us nothing really except for the cavalry unit. Barracks, same deal. Probably should do that. Library four, Trial Town. One, Farmer's Market, Forester Skill. Oh, the Amplifier. What's this? This is a special building. Amplifier is a tech magic building. It's strange machinery powered by sorcery. It amplifies the bonuses gained from a power node owned by the wizard in, within the city's catch, uh, catchment area, plus a power, and lowers unrest by one rebel. The building may also unlock special units if race allows it. You like the cannon? I didn't notice that before, because I didn't look for it before. That should be available at Rocketville, too. Or not. It is right there. You just don't have... Where is a smithy? Oh, we don't have a power node close, right? That's why it's not there. Catchment area. That's a new word or term. Yeah, I've never seen it before either. I'm almost tempted to look it up, see if it's a real word. I have a feeling it is. So that, that particular building is only available to towns that have the nodes within their range. So that's why Rocketville can't build it. Land for which water flows into a river, lake, or reservoir. Okay, so they've expanded it then. The actual meaning. Unless there's a, a secondary meanings to it. I've heard of the equivalent term in Romanian before, though I can't recall the word for that yeah, I, I've probably heard that word before, but I don't remember where I heard it because it's not something you would use on a regular basis. Not a common word. Seven production. Need more robot people. Well, cyborgs, whatever they're supposed to be. Soul trapped. Dark energies engulf the moon. Those who follow death can siphon more mana from religious buildings, but those who stand with life will suffer a penalty. I don't care. I don't use either one of those. Alone zombie. Can't kill it. Don't have enough ammo. Go scout the rest of this out, see what's here. Need more money, money need more mana. Returns until our cloak of flying is made. I do like the crown they added over the capital. It makes them stand out a lot more. Start building a road going all the way down there. Drainage basin. Also means the same thing, apparently, as well as a bunch of other terms. 
Well, because it's the same general idea. I think they chose catchment because it sounds more like a generic because it's catching all the stuff within the range, right? I mean, what other, what other would you carry or what other word would you use to explain what this is and what it does? In one word, <laughs> that for whatever I don't, it's interesting to see influence there. I said in one word. Keep in mind that I believe the developer is Polish, so they may not speak, you know, English fluently or, you know, definitely not the native language. Catchment area, it's two words in the game, too. Uh, are they using it like that, though? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing here, aren't I? I'm supposed to be looking at the... Amplifier. In the city's catchment area. Yeah, you're right. So, influence area or catchment area? I don't know. It's the word they chose. <laughs> Just like I say, it's the word they chose. I don't think influence is quite accurate either, though. Catchment, I think, is more accurate than influence in this case. I think Civ uses influence, do they? But in Civ, it works. Is it different? I don't. I don't. I haven't played the recent. I haven't played Civ six and ever recently. A while. Can't remember the last time I played it. But I think what they're going for is because you're catching the, the the resources in the area, the way they're using it. It's not so much an influence area because here they don't have that, right? In civilization, it's the territory that you have housing and you have, you know, farmland and whatever. So influence is probably more appropriate in Civ, but here there, that stuff doesn't exist. There's no housing. There's no farmland and stuff because they didn't go that route in this game. So maybe that's why they're choosing that word over an influence. Right. I'm just trying to figure out their thinking on why they chose catchment over influence. But again, it might be a language translation thing, because like I said, the dev developers are not uh, English speakers or native English speakers. Hell, even a native English speaker wouldn't come up with catchment, I don't think. <laughs> You'd be looking at going, I don't know that word. Yeah, it, it's the word makes sense for what they're using it for. It, it makes sense. It's just that it's not a common word. It's not a common use word. At least, unless you work in that type of uh, business, I would think. Or, you know, that's your job dealing with determining what that stuff actually is. Or, you know, you're some type of uh, land ownership type person. Then you would be, it'd be a word you use all the time. But for general populace, you don't see that word very often at all. Did he just take that? Did he just take that or did he just sacrifice his hero? I wonder if I could cast a spell to find out, I guess. Hmm. Okay, trying to see what's in here. 
So we've got five swordsmen. Three are elite, that's scary. Four spearmen that are veterans. And two more swordsmen that are veterans. This army will not win that fight. Unless we get really, really lucky with confusion. Ah, oh, look, we got a vet. We got a neighbor. Who's our neighbor? Raven. So, yeah, we need to start pushing into this area. Try to take this city before they can. guys are building already, it looks like. So, cavalry unit. Settlers in two terms. We can buy it for 243. We won't wait till two turns. Here, and what do we want to do next? Uh, temple, one more mana, one whole point, two point, two whole points. One six. One, continue on to that stuff. Library one. Farmer's market in seven. So that gets us more food and more people per turn, so I get up to 90. On housing. So about three turns before this gets another population to worker. Them. So. The farmers. No, not this one. Is that the one I was looking at? It was. Okay, so speed this up. Hope that one go faster too. A little bit. Um, yes. Hamdorf. Hamdorf is a barbarian town. We've seen that one before. This way. Ah, Bandland. Human? Human. 15 populations, so they're going to have a little bit of defenses in there. That's our turn. flying. So you didn't get smashed so easily, maybe. You had to be shot down. So, flight. We made that. Uh, let's see. The Forester's Guild in 16 turns. Ouch. All town. Marketplace in 8. Library in 3. Can't catch me. He summoned Nagas to accompany his pikemen. Alley, we interest in taming Monarch. They'll have more than I do, so suffer. Okay, so settler. Where do we want to go? Where can we go?
These spaces are... No, actually, not all the spaces filled up. We can build a city down here. Best resources, though. Home path. No minerals around here for us to take advantage of. Crystals. Gem. Oh, look at all the gems. Does that count as mineral? So build on the hill. So 10 max population, 40% bonus, 48% bonus to uh, production. Get access to the corks and the gems. Eight, 10, 33, right there on the gems, 10 and 42. 10 and 48 is better. Built there. Still like how we have a not a wagon. And it's got a horse in the bed of it. That's the funny part. and seven. So they're going to hit uh, two grand next turn for population. What money? So what are we doing? Oh, these guys aren't. Next turn. Oh, he's not taking that city with this army. Two cavalry, three swordsmen against whatever they they had a lot in there, then they can't look up anywhere. Give me free stuff, cave. That's not free stuff, that's a lot of fire. Lower this way. We're not gonna be able to get too terribly far, depending if she's put up any more cities in this area. A set of engineers. But five and five on the five attack, five defense. And the elites get more health too. Five, five, and five, two, and five. What are we looking at for us? Five and seven. Our defense is better. Hey, bag of water. Uh -oh. It is time to take a break. No, it's not. Go stretch your legs. I'm in the stream. 
because Veronica had a late start. Ends in one hour. No, stream ends in a minute or two. Actually, this is a good place, place to stop anyway. So, so the new DLC for the Soul Trapped, or for Master of Magic, Rise of the Soul Trap. So what are these games? Veronica says the stream ends in one hour, but that's because she got an hour, uh, an hour break at the start of the stream, because for the third day in a row, I forgot to tell her, you know, hello, Veronica, at the start. So, my fault. But, uh, yeah, three days in a row I've done it. I feel really bad. Because it really screws up the schedule sometimes. She's an AI. She can't be wrong. Until she is. Remember, AIs are only as good as the people who program them, and you know how much I screw up. So, that to tell you everything you need to know about Veronica's brain. Anyway... <laughs> this DLC. Uh, so, so, the soul trap. I'm kind of liking them so far. Um, except for the growth, the very slow growth rate. That minus 330 uh, penalty is harsh. But they're not the only race with that penalty, too. Because, um, what is it? Um, trolls are like that. I think goblins are even slow, too. But anyway, there's a couple of different races that are really slow. But it always fails. Of course it does. It does. But again, they've got no no bonuses to production anywhere. Farmers are farmers, workers are workers, rebels are rebels. That's fine. Their units, um, unfortunately, we didn't get to see all of them in action because uh, we still got a while to go there. Uh, spirit there, but um, because they are robot, they're basically cyborgs. And all honestly, they're basically cyborgs. Um, that's the easiest way. They call them soul trapped, but they're basically robots with, you know, souls inside of them. I think goblins are slow breeders by a little bit. I think, if I remember right, I think goblins are a little slow. Not, not like minus 30 slow. They're necrons. Yeah, they're necrons. I look prefer cyborg. There's a, because goblins have, there's a reason why we don't want them to be fast growers or fast breeders because they can be dangerous with their wolf their uh their boar riders and stuff you don't really want fast goblins <laughs> they groaned eh, i may be wrong i don't think they're fast i'm pretty sure they're not a fast breeder but i think they are a slightly slow one and there's a re there's the reason for it is because they're not what you have to remember about this game is there's two planes there's arcanus which we're on right now and then there's mirror Mirror is the stronger plane. There's more resources there. There's better res well, there's better resources. And there's just less competition for those resources because there's not as many mirror wizards that's many as many wizards that start on that plane. So there's more less competition to get stuff. And goblins are a mirror race. And all the mirror races tend to be very slow growing. So you got dwarves, dark elves, trolls. Uh, Beastmen, the Goblins, um, who else is up there? Clackon, no, not the Clackons, the Dragon, uh, Draconians are there. Um, they're the strongest races, in all, con in all honesty. They are the strongest races. And as a result, you have to slow them down, because if you don't, they will run over the wor both worlds. So, in the context of this game, they have to be a slower growing. Otherwise, they would just they would just swarm. They would just swarm both planes. Yes, goblins are anything but slow breeders in most universes. Right. I agree. I'm not I'm not disagreeing with that concept, but in this game, they because of where their starting point is, they have to make them slower breeders. Otherwise they will just they will just run over everybody. That's just the way it has to be. Now with, they could have put them you know in Arcanus, but I mean, they should actually, in all honesty, they probably should have, because that's where orcs are. Orcs are, are in are on this plane. And so, eh, <laughs> it's no big deal. I mean, it's just a game. It's not the end of the world. And, you know, that's what it is. Anyway, these guys, the Soul Trapped, what I was about to say is they have a nice little armor bonus. They get a plus two, I think, to their armor. Is that right? Or is it higher than that? Because it doesn't really say. Because these guys start at 6. They're at 6. They're at 7. They're at 6. So their base unit... Those, you know... Having spearmen, the spear units, with 6 armor, makes them probably the toughest spears, spear units in the game. 
and these are just regular, you know, Arcanist units. Um, but that makes these guys actually really tough with that six armor. So and I'm trying to. It's where did we see that? Okay, here we go. So this is it. So they do have building restrictions. They can't do Merchant's Guild, War College, Oracle, Animus Guild, and a shipyard. So that not having an Animus Guild hurts a little bit because that affects your, your food production. War College, that affects your ability to um, train um, elite. No, not elite. Um, veteran units coming at, you know, just straight out. Basically the two chevrons for experience. That's That's kind of a big deal. Uh, Merchant Guild, that's extra money. Oracle, eh. Uh, shipyard, that just re restricts you to not getting galleys, so that's not a big deal. Um, but other modifiers, that plus four armor, that's the big one. That's the big one for this race, because that makes them very uh, not squishy, especially for those spearmen, because those spearmen are cheap units. And although their offense sucks, they are great cannon fodder, and they're very durable cannon fodder. <laughs> So, got to remember that. And they all get wall crusher, too. Which means they can, if a city is walled, they don't care if you, they can go through the gate or not. They'll go through the wall instead. And all their units are like that. So, that's kind of useful, I guess. Um, but they also cost times two to production. Because, you know, they're metal instead of, you know, flesh. Um, and then, they gain, cities gain plus five population growth. Every, per, every, sorry, sorry, every mineral within the catchment... <laughs> the population increases by five so even though they're at minus 30 if you can get enough minerals around a city that will increase their population growth by five so in this case boomtown because gold is a mineral so their population growth is instead of 90 is 95 although it doesn't unfortunately it doesn't break down this plus 95 wish it did but it doesn't but anyway normally it would be 90 but because of the gold here it's 95 and over here we have more gold, so another 45. And no mineral here. And we've got mithril up here, so this is at 80. What, what, I don't know why it's 87. <laughs> I don't know why it's 87. But it's still five more than it should be because there's mithril. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um, as far as other units. Um, so this is standard stuff. Spear bots, sword bots, halberds, cavalry. That's typical stuff. Uh, Sub trireme. This is a their boat. Um, it does transport people. It is a transport. So it's transport. It's also a rock wall, wall crusher too. I'm not sure how that works because um, most boats don't fight in city conquests, city battles. I'm not sure how that works. But uh, anyway, it's got a long range little cannon. We didn't build any today. So I'll be interested to see what they actually do. And then we have the Soul Trap Tech Priests. We haven't seen these guys at all either. Basically, there's priests, but they can also bring back a unit during combat. I mean, bring it back to light, life like a raised dead spell does. Um, does not work outside of combat, though. Because any, even when they, they you raise them during the combat, after combat's done, they, they die again. So it's not permanent. But they do have a normal healing. Oh, actually, we also forgot the... The engineers. The engineers actually heal too. They repair construct units within their army. So you don't bring these guys in the combat. You could, but you wouldn't want to because they'll die. Their armor and melee suck. So basically just have them sitting around waiting after combat's over. You bring, put them in the army and any of your damaged constructs will be healed faster with uh, an engineer in the army with you. I haven't, done, I haven't actually done that yet. She probably should. Although, because we haven't had that many fights today. Uh, again, tech priest, healer, typical priest, just a little different uh, with that raising dead during combat. But it's got to be a construct, right? Yeah, it's got to be a construct. And then the yeet. This is basically um, an interesting artillery unit. It basically throws... See, look, it's holding something. It's a... Uh, it's... it's um, what's it called? Release the mag bomb. It's the mag bomb. It throws it, and then the mag bomb is supposed to explode. <laughs> it's a su it's an actual summon thing, so it's funny. Yeah, yeet, duck, and the soul cannon. Typical artillery. Um, it's nothing. It's yeah, it's typical artillery. It's nothing special, as from what I can tell. Other than it's got immunities to stuff like illusion, poison, because it's a machine, cold. 
starts with enchanted weapons, get the boulder stuff. So, again, we didn't get a chance to see that one in action, and we haven't seen the Solus either. This is a golem. This is just a golem. 10 melee, 10 range, 10 armor, 10, 10 resistance. Basically, a kind of a giant type deal. It, it's very similar to a regular giant, except it's immune to death, poison, again, because it's a machine. And it's got the boulder attack, which has only got, what, two? Oh, it's got four ammo. So it's better than a giant. Most giants only have two uh, long range attacks, so these guys are a little bit better. But very expensive, 220. So better than the, the dwarven uh, golems. <laughs> so, will we be playing this again? Yes. We'll probably be playing. No, we're not going to be. Are we going to play this thing? No, I think. I think we'll be playing this next Monday. I think we'll play this next Monday. So, having said that, schedule. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we're going to take a look at 40, or Warhammer 40k uh, Battle Sector with its new uh, DLC that came out last week. They added the the corn demons uh, for that, and so we'll be taking a look at that. I haven't played that in a while either, which probably should, because I really do enjoy that game too. Um, anyway, that's tomorrow, Thursday. We'll be back to Baldur's Gate uh, 3. Friday is Multiplayer Celasta with Jeff Hobo and Hurricane. Saturday, don't know what I'm playing yet. Kind of up in the air now that this is out too, so I don't know what I'm doing on Saturday. Sunday, though, Pathfinder Wrath of Righteous all day. First half of the stream is campaign stuff with Gimpy the Dwarven Crusader Angel. And the second half of the stream is the Treasures of the Midnight Isles DLC with Viewer Group 7. Or, sorry, 9. Sorry, I just killed 7 and 8. That's like that. <laughs> so, um... Anyway, that's Sunday, and then Monday. Um, it's either going to be Baldur's Gate or it's going to be this. To be all honest, it depends on what I feel like on Monday. So either Master of Magic or Baldur's Gate on Monday. And then Tuesday. Finally, we've been waiting for Starfield, the new game from Bethesda. It's supposed to be kind of like Skyrim meets Fallout, whatever, in space. And looking forward to playing it. It looks good. And um, hopefully it's not buggy as hell. Anyway, playing that on Tuesday. Okay, so that's the schedule for the next week or so. Um, that's it. Tomorrow, stream starts at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT for Warhammer 40k Battle Sector. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great evening, great day, wherever you happen to be. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you tomorrow.